Hi guys and welcome back. This is part three of the Suzuki VS 1400 teardown. Today I'm going to finish showing you how to reinstall the stock triple tree for the bike. I'm going to show you how to put the new bearing on and then we'll show you how to reinstall it with all the torque settings and stuff like that. So let's get into it. So in the last video, you saw me cut off the old race here. If you didn't watch that video, make sure you go and check it out because that will get you up to, up to date with this video. Now, once you've removed that old race and you're ready to install the new bearing, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pack it full of grease. And the way you do it, it's a mucky job. If you've got gloves, then wear them. I'm currently out and within the current climate. It's not really sensible to go buying PPE stuff right now. So I'm going to put a dollop of it in my hand like this. I'm going to take the bearing and I'm going to roll it onto the palm of my hand. Literally just spin it on your hand and the bearing will pick up all the grease. Okay, you got any leftovers? Pop it back on the palm of your hand and go round again and again until that bearing is absolutely packed full of grease. Mucky job, but it needs to be done. Okay, let's get that grease out of the way. Pop that to one side and we can look at the stem again. So, the next step, first of all let's get rid of the grease is I'm just going to clean the base of that stem off because we were rubbing it down in the previous video. We use something like this. This is a um, brake disc cleaner. Really, really strong stuff. Great for degreasing. Go ahead and give that a smear and give it a, a clean down. Before we install the new bearing, we have to install a new dust cap. They usually come with the bearing kit. Okay, you've seen me put one on the uh, on the top bearing, on the top of the neck of the bike. This one goes on the base of that stem and it points up, so it sits in this orientation. So you wanna make sure that the open side sits up. And then the widest part of the bearing, that goes down onto the stem and when you've pushed that all the way down the bearing will sit inside the groove of that dust cap. Now do you remember we kept hold of that race for a reason the outer race and the reason we kept hold of it is so that we could use it as a driver for this new bearing because they're the same size so take the old race turn it upside down so it matches with this side and we're going to pop it on top of that bearing. So we need a good flat surface that's not the bearing that we can use to tap down the bearing and when I say tap I mean smack because it does require quite a bit of force. Ideally you want something with a wide surface area um, something like this which is like an, a long allen wrench use it as a driver and we're going to go round now I'm going to do a few hits on this side, a few hits on this side, front and back as well, and we're going to try and evenly move the bearing down onto the triple tree stem. So, mind your ears. So we're nearly there now. Spared you most of the pain of the, uh, the noise that this thing creates. Okay, so what you're looking for before you can call this job finished is you need to make sure that that bottom edge of that bearing is sat flush inside that dust cap and that the dust cap isn't moving freely. That is now seated correctly. So now we can remove the, uh, the driver that we've installed. Let's give that a little, little tap just to encourage it free. 
we can take a rag and clean up any potential dust on the stem. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more grease to that bottom edge and go all the way around. And because this stuff is waterproof, this effectively makes its own dust cap. It stops things getting in there. Right, now we can move on to reinstalling it onto the bike. So now that we've put everything together in terms of the bearings onto the stem, and we've got the bearings and the dust caps in the top of this part of the neck, if you haven't seen this video, go check it out. I'll put a link up here in the corner of this video. You can go see how we sort this one out. Take this end and we can feed it up through the neck. And I'm just gonna find the hole there through the bearing, okay. Next, we need our dust cap. Now this dust cap is what covers the neck, so we're gonna pop that down over the top, okay. Next, we're gonna take this little guy. Now this is what is in charge, this is what controls the tension on your steering column and on your stem as a whole. So if things are too tight after you've put this back on and you've reassembled your front end, you can adjust this to your liking to get the, uh, to get the right feeling for you and your style of riding. That has a tapered end on it. It has like a ridge, you see this here? That needs to face down and that goes through the dust cap and makes contact with the upper stem bearing. So the last bit that we've got to add, of course, is the top of the triple tree. Pop that over the stem, like so. Next, we've got a washer that sits here. And then we've got our steering stem nut, which threads onto the top. And you're gonna tighten this down to between 80 and 100 Newton meters. And that's it for the steering stem, guys. Um, if you do have any questions regarding that, leave them in the comment section below. I really need to make some progress with this bike and there's so many little bits and pieces that I just, if I were to cover every single sort of nut and bolt, I don't think I'd ever finish the project. So I'm gonna leave the camera running, but I'm gonna get on with some, some other bits and pieces that you don't really need instructions on, such as painting the engine, reassembling little bits and pieces, of course the big stuff like the reassembling the engine, sinking the carburetors, all of the things that I know are really, really important for you to know and for everybody to know, they will of course be documented, but I need to make some progress with the bike and in order to do that, I can't narrate everything. So I'm gonna leave the camera running and I'm just gonna see what I can get done with the rest of the day. All right, let's do it. Yeah.